What is going on today guys, Tomcat here, and today we are back for another episode of Forza Horizon 2. Now I haven't done an actual Let's Play episode in a while because I've been focusing a lot on builds, and I've been doing a lot of builds, and also playing a lot online, so I kind of really have, I've really left the story mode al alone a lot, so um, there's still quite a bit of it left uh, to actually do and actually uh, finish, which is kind of nice because... There's a lot of stuff still there in the game to experience that I haven't actually done yet. So, and I still need to find a lot of those discount signs and everything like that, but... Basically, the thing I wanted to talk about in this video primarily was the new PC that just arrived. The new, uh, gaming PC that just arrived. Which, and I will tell you about that as soon as this wheel spin finishes. Please be something good. Oh, not bad. Not bad. 66,000 credits. I'll take it. But, um... The whole deal with this new PC is that I basically wanted something that was going to be able to handle anything and everything that could be uh, that could be coming out, and not only play it but also record it with pretty much um, pretty much optimum uh, optimum quality and optimum stability, optimum smoothness. Pretty much able to handle it um, beyond any beyond any anything that my uh, older computer could actually do. Now, my older computer wasn't bad, uh, by any means. It was actually a really, really nice computer, and I still actually have it. I still use it. I'm still actually using it right now to record this, because the new computer doesn't actually have any recording software set up on it yet, but, and let's see, we're gonna go to the cross-country event. But, um, a couple of the things, uh, about the new computer, it's got a, um, NVIDIA GTX, uh, 980, which I really like, and it's a really nice GPU because it's 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 a high performance GPU. It's also it's it's okay on efficiency. I mean, it's decent on efficiency, but I don't really care about saving power. I more just care about um, how well the card actually performs. If it draws more power, uh, so be it. I mean, I've got an 850 watt power supply, so um, I'm all good with it uh, drawing it drawing. The power that it needs to draw. That's why I have the whole thing set in high performance mode. I set, I went in and I changed all the preferences to actually set it to run in high performance mode as much as possible. I mean, yes, it'll still go to sleep and it'll still rest when it needs to, but when I'm playing games, when I'm recording, that thing is running at, uh, at the, well, I don't want to say at the most it could actually run at because that'll vary depending on the game, but as far as just actually playing, it's giving it pretty much almost its all. It's pretty much giving it its all, which is nice, because then you don't have to worry about, oh, I'm not getting as many frames as I could be getting, or oh, I'm not getting anywhere close to the, uh, the actual graphical performance that I could be getting. So, oh, uh, this car is not suited to off-road racing at all. It's not built for this. It was never intended for this. I don't know why they put this in the rotation for this championship. They did. I mean, I guess you have to live with the fact that they did, but it doesn't make any sense. Why? I mean, if you're in Rally Fighters, yes. If you're in C7 Stingrays, no. Absolutely not. In C7 Stingrays, 2015 Mustangs, Chargers, this is not what they're for. And, ooh! I thought I was about to head the wrong way. I was seriously worried for a second there. I did sort of head the wrong way. Not quite, but it still worked! There's a tree there! Go. Yes, thank you. But another reason why I wanted a extremely high-performance PC was obviously because GTA 5 is coming out on the PC uh, soon. Well, not soon, but... Um, I actually forget the uh, what, what the release date was. I think it's... I believe it's... Yeah, it, it's like right around the beginning of uh, the start of next year. But, I mean, that's still close enough that I want to get ready for it now, and just make sure everything's ready for it and up to date as far as it goes, like, right now. Because once GTA 5 on PC comes out, I am going to be hitting that thing so hard with mods. It's I'm going to push it as far as I can. I'm going to push it as far as I... Whoa, okay! That'll do it as far as air goes. Jeez! But, um, 
yeah, as far as pushing the game with mods and stuff like that, I am going to be modding it like crazy. I'm sure the community is going to be modding it like crazy. And I feel like I've I've really experienced GTA 5 in its quote-unquote stock form, but I want to I wanna go ahead and have some fun with it now. I, that's why I'm so psyched for the PC version, is because I want to really have some fun with GTA 5 outside of the actual uh, mechanics of the original game. Because I have a feeling that it's going to be pretty badass when the mods start uh, going into effect. You're really starting to make a name for yourself. Didn't do too badly. How much did we get for this? Ooh, not too bad. Almost got enough for that next build I want to do. I can't say what it is yet, but it's going to be pretty sweet once I actually do this next build uh, coming up. And... I apologize for there not being a video this morning. Um, there was, there was supposed to be, but there was, um, there was a couple of, uh, let's just say a couple of complications with a file, uh, that just wouldn't render properly. It was just being stubborn. Um, I'm sure anybody that, ed that edits video will know what that's like. Occasionally you get the one bad file that's, that doesn't want to work properly. Here, okay, perks, never mind. Um, what do I want? Paparazzi, I could get that. I could get the hang on perk. I could get the risk taker perk. Um, let's get the risk taker perk. And the hang on perk. Just one more to get, and we will have every last perk unlocked. Oh, yes. Now, uh, let's see. What is next? Just one more, and this championship will be finished. Oh god, a trail race. They want us to do a trail race in modern muscle car slash supercars. Why? Doesn't make any sense at all. It should have been like all, uh, like street races and street sprints and street circuits. That's what it should have been. Uh, as far as this championship goes, but, I mean, if I, if I go into, like, an exotic car championship, I don't expect it to be I'm not and I'm not signing up to race off road however they 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 they're they're slowly but surely trying to change my expectation as far as what surface I'll be racing on when this next race and the championship is yours oh yes it is and it will be Just taking a little bit of a shortcut through your field. Don't mind me! Okay, that went... That didn't go well. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have taken that shortcut through the field. That was probably a really bad idea. Well, I could take the shortcut through the field. But as long as I reposition the car in a good... Yeah, I set it up for the next corner well. Alright, come on, power out! Come on, stick to the inside! Balance the power on the exit. Man, all the challengers and chargers up front. It's kind of odd. You would think the C7s would be up front. Especially when you involve a corner. Because, I mean, chargers and challengers are cool, but when you involve a corner, um, they, <laughs> they tend to get a bit confused. Oop, oop, oop. I don't know why I braked so much for that. I was trying to correct. I was braking and then I was trying to correct and it just kind of... I don't know. That corner kind of fell apart. It just didn't work right. That corner was nice though. Come on. Just the inside. There we go. Now I'm starting to get the feel for the car back. Oh, definitely, definitely. Oh, maybe not so definitely. It was good. It was good up until I went into the uh, the signs. We'll gloss over that. <laughs> Have a little bit of tail out action. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. I wanted to drift and that didn't go well. <laughs> I was I was like, yeah, let's drift a little bit. You'll be fine. Oh yeah. I don't know about that. All right, e-brake. Here we go. That's the reaction I wanted. That's the exact reaction I wanted. 
They said this was a trail race. This has been all on the road so far. Mind you, I'm not complaining. I'm just slightly confused. Because normally the trail races are off-road. Correct it a little bit. Correct it a little bit. Back up into fourth. There's the finish already. And that was a trail race, but we didn't go on any dirt. And it was extremely short. I'll take it. And across... Well, yeah. I was across the line sideways. Championship is mine. You just keep ticking off these championship wins. Oh, yes. Yeah, as you can see, eight more to go. I definitely haven't really been uh, doing that much of the story mode. I've been focusing a lot on just playing a lot of multiplayer because it's just fun. Um, I play a lot of multiplayer and I do a lot of builds. And I play a lot of multiplayer, I do a lot of builds, and I just kind of... I don't know, I just kind of drive around a lot sometimes. That's what I find is really fun in Horizon 2, just driving around. I don't know why it's so fun, it's just fun, if that makes sense. It's just kind of, it's kind of relaxing in a sense. And more so than a lot of other open world racing games. It does a really good job of it. We're all done in Castelletto. Head on up to the hub when you're ready to move on, and we'll start the next leg of the road trip.